time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. Now you guys know I haven't uploaded a video in almost a week. And that's pretty unusual for me, especially since I'm trying to do this as a career now and get more videos uploaded. So I thought I would take a moment and do a quick little vlog for you guys to update you on all of the stuff that's prevented me from making a video this week. All right, well, let's start off at the beginning of the week. So I'm sitting in the Nerd Cave bedroom, I'm watching my projector set up, and 15 minutes into everything I watch, the computer basically bug checks or just freezes up. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? You have to realize this media center hasn't been touched in probably two or three years. And it's been mounted in a component rack with a bunch of other stuff. So it's never been serviced, it's never been dusted. So I just figured it was overheating. So I decided, you know what? There are so many little quirks going on around the house. I'm just gonna fix all the electronic crap in the house today instead of shooting a video. So I go pull the computer out. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see all of this unfolding live. I, I take this computer apart and it's literally just full of dust. I mean, it is packed full of dust. I couldn't believe it. I'm surprised the damn thing didn't catch fire. And the CPU heat sink was completely matted. No air was getting through it whatsoever. So I took it out, I blew it out with canned air, I vacuumed the whole system out, I cleaned it up really good. I take it back in, plug it in, and it's still locking up every 15 minutes. So I take it back out again, I tear it apart, I take off the heat sink and I find that the thermal compound has basically been turned into like this cracked looking clay. Obviously it wasn't doing its job. So I hoof the thing upstairs to the nerd cave, I tear it apart, clean it up with alcohol, throw some Arctic Silver 5 on there, slap it back together, take it into the nerd cave, plug it back in, and lo and behold, I'm past the 15 minute mark and it hasn't hung. Now it's gone an hour and it hasn't hung. It's gone two hours and it hasn't hung. Boom, I'm feeling mighty because I just fixed a problem that was really, really easy and anybody should have been able to solve. But anyways, I fixed it. And I was very, very proud of myself for doing that. And it basically gave me a second win to just fix a bunch of other stuff. So the next target was the home network. I've been having massive problems with network outages on Wi-Fi and just general lag, lag issues with my local area network. So I went ahead and tore out the old Netgear router that I had in place and replaced it with Linksys' super high-end four antenna gaming router. And I replaced my old hub with a managed Cisco switch. And it took me a while to get all that stuff hooked up and programmed, but once I did and I got the DHCP entries and everything, it worked beautifully. I noticed that there was no longer lag when I was selecting shows through the Plex interface on my media center. I noticed that streaming stuff from the computer to the Xbox was smooth, to the PS4 was smooth, everything was better. So needless to say, I blew an entire day just working on stuff around the house and get it working. So now I wake up the next day and I'm working on the Robo 3D unboxing. I know you guys are waiting for that Robo 3D unboxing. And when I take it out of the box, I misalign one of the auto bed leveling center, uh, the auto bed leveling sensors, and I couldn't figure it out. So I'm running the software and it, the auto leveling isn't working and I'm, and I'm getting frustrated with it. And I decided to just walk away for a little while. I send mail to the Robo 3D guys. They immediately uh, give me some help and I go look at it. And sure enough, it was just, it just got bumped in shipping. It was a very, very easy fix. And I'll even show you guys the problems that I ran into with the hardware and the software in the upcoming Robo 3D video. But once you get it installed properly and you, and you basically make sure those sensors are in the right place, it works great. So that cost me a little bit of frustration, which ultimately led to me wanting to go do something. When I get frustrated with computer stuff, I want to go do something non-computer related for a little while. So Needless to say, I know the gutters on my house need to be cleaned. They haven't been cleaned in like three years. I keep meaning to have somebody come clean them, but I figured, you know what? I'm a, I'm Barnacles. I can, I can climb up on a ladder and, and clean out a gutter. That sounds simple. Well, when I worked at Microsoft, I was about 263, and now I'm just pushing almost 300. So I gained quite a bit of weight when I left Microsoft, and you guys don't have to leave comments down below saying, oh, you should lose weight. You really should lose weight. I care about you. You should lose weight. Obviously, I know I need to lose weight. All those comments do is enrage me and make me want to like either delete them or ban you. So it just understand, I get so much of that every single day that all I want to do is just delete it all. Trust me, I'm fat. I know I'm fat. I'm going to fix it at some point. So just simmer down now. But anyways, I go out to the shed, I get the ladder, I stick it up against the house, and the ladder literally says on the side of it, rated to 300 pounds. So I am literally right at the breaking point of this ladder. Although I think they're pretty conservative in their estimates because obviously I didn't die. So I climb up the ladder, I've got my uh, wet dry vac connected with a huge hose extension and everything, and I'm up there vacuuming stuff up. And the thing keeps getting clogged because there's literally like the gutters are more than halfway full of sludge. So I'm vacuuming this crap out and busting it apart and throwing the twigs out of there. and at any rate, I'm working a lot harder than I usually do. I mean, my day job is to sit here in front of a camera and, and talk to you guys. So not climb ladders and do manual labor. 
There was a time in my life where I was a drywaller though. So I thought, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, you think if you do it once, you can do it forever. No, I've obviously let myself go a little bit because it took me four hours to clean the gutters. I pulled about 250 pounds of sludge out of the gutters and probably went up and down the ladder a hundred plus times. And it definitely took a toll on my body. Everything was hurting. My legs were numb. My lower back was shot. I already have back problems to begin with. So it was probably stupid of me to even try this. But anyways, I was feeling cocky. So I got up there. I do this whole job afterwards. I'm like, hey, I can still walk. I just can't feel my legs. I thought I was fine. Well, needless to say, I go to bed that night and uh, I wake up in the morning and the whole left side of my back is shot. Like, I mean, it feels like the muscle is rock hard and it feels like I'm bending in half. I'm like, well, this is a new pain. I haven't really ever had this one before. It's usually a pinched sciatic nerve or something, but this was like killing my muscle in my back. So it kept getting worse and worse and it eventually got to the point where I had to be laid up in bed for two days. And the only way I was able to get out of bed is I finally was taking uh, painkillers and muscle relaxers at the same time. And it allowed me to get out of bed. And if you guys saw Tech Talk uh, yesterday or on Thursday, um, you'd see I was pretty out of it. Like I wasn't myself. And today I finally woke up and this is the first day where I feel pretty normal. My back is still super sore, but I didn't have to take any of my painkillers or anything. And I feel, I feel pretty good. I, I can get up and I can walk around. I actually got to get out of the house for a little while today. So I was super, super stoked and excited about that. And to be honest, that's the only reason I'm sitting here making this video right now is because I finally feel good enough to do it. You guys need to understand, I can't make a video when I'm not in a good mood or I'm all beat to hell and I'm hurting because obviously that's not going to be a fun video to watch. And it's going to be even less of a fun video to make. But needless to say, I feel like I'm back to my same old self other than a little bit of pain that I still have in my back that hopefully will sort itself out in another good night of sleep. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. So it's time to get back to shooting videos again. And I also wanted to let you guys know about some of the upcoming stuff that's going on. I've been uh, doing a lot of stuff researching the tax code for sole proprietorships and LLCs and all these corporations and stuff to figure out what I have to do with Barnacle's Nerdgasm to make it my full-time career. There's still some additional steps that I need to make to do that. And that is a lot of learning and a lot of red tape. So hang in there with me while I figure all that out. But some cool stuff is happening. Actually, this next Next Thursday, I fly out of Seattle to Chicago, and I'm going to Chicago to attend a super secret event that I can't tell you guys about. Well, I might be able to tell you about it afterwards, but can't tell you about it right now. And while I'm there, I'm going to be touring the Inventables.com facility. If you guys haven't checked out Inventables, go to Inventables.com. They sell literally everything that's electronics, breadboards, stepper motors, computerized CNC machines, 3D printers, materials. I mean, pretty much anything if you're in the makerspace they have what you need. And I think they're a really awesome company. I've purchased stuff from them before, so I'm really excited to go and do a tour of their facility. And I'm gonna be doing a whole video of that tour. And I even picked up a new camera for when I'm traveling. Um, my Sony vlogging camera started getting a little bit tired. And so I wanted to get a new one. So I upgraded to the new Sony camera. I believe it's the X100 M3. Uh, that sounds about right. And, and so it's basically Sony's like flagship top of the line point and shoot camera that fits in your pocket. So hopefully I'm gonna get some amazing vlogging video for you guys while I'm in Chicago. And then there's another event that I may be going into New York for. So I might be going from Chicago to New York and then back to Seattle. Anyways, I'm gonna be gone for like four or five days. So I'm gonna try to get a couple videos in the queue for you guys. But guys, that's pretty much what happened in a nutshell. It's been a crazy week, mostly because I just decided that I was gonna be the MacGyver of home repairs and really mess myself up. So I learned my lesson there. I definitely need some exercise. I need to lose some weight and more more than anything, weight loss or anything, I need to get out and actually get some activity back in my life because uh, even if I'm this heavy, I obviously need the muscle to carry it and I don't have it right now. So guys, thanks for hanging in there for me and waiting for a new video. It's funny, whenever I go a long period of time without creating a video, I get a massive influx on Twitter and on YouTube comments and on email saying, where are you? Did something happen? Are you okay? I'm gonna tell you guys how to figure out what's going on with me at any point in time. My most active social network is Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm at Barnacles. And even when I'm laid up in bed drooling because of all the drugs that I have to be on for my screwed up back, I'm still on there just tweeting away. So you guys will have a general idea of what's going on and a lot of you guys watching this video right now already know everything that happened because I Instagrammed it all so if you go follow me on Instagram I'm Barnacles on there also or you can come follow me on Facebook I'm over on Facebook at Barnacles Nerdgasm so 
there's all kinds of places you guys can see the real time social feed of what's going on with me. So if you ever see, uh, or rather don't see a video come out in the time that you think's allotted, go to one of those social networks and just see what's going on in my life. It'll, it'll tell you a lot. All right, guys, I just want to thank you once again for all the support and don't worry, Barnacles Nerdgasm is still going strong and 2015 is going to be the biggest year ever. Ever. All right, well, now that I brought you guys up to speed, I'm going to actually try to get some real videos done. Well, I mean, technically, this is a real video, but y you know what I mean. na 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 bat knife bat knife na 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 bat knife Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself. Yeah.